Let's now update an entry on Superbase and see what gets logged out in this payload. So I'll just clear the console first and jump back to Superbase. And let's edit the name of this rent entry. So I'll double click on rent and change this to rent edited and hit enter. And if we jump back to Moneyballs, we can see the payload was logged out. And as you might have expected, this time the event type is set to update. And in this new object, we can see the new data for this row or this entry. And we can see that the name property has the new name, rent edited. So let's hook this up to our app. I'm going to put this over on the right again and jump back to the subscribe entries method. Uh, let's set up another if statement to handle updates. So this time we'll do if payload.event type is equal to update. Help me out with a quick like, comment, share, or subscribe. And all we want to do here is assign this new entry data to the correct entry object in our array, in our state. So again, to get the correct index of the entry that was updated in our state, we can use this get entry index by ID method again. So let's do const index equals get entry index by ID. Uh, we have the ID of the entry that was updated at payload.new.id. So let's pass in payload.new.id. And this will give us the position of the entry in our local entries array ref, which we want to update. Uh, we can now just use object assign to assign this new entry data to the entry in our entries ref at this position of index. So we can just do object dot assign. Uh, we want to assign something to the entry at the position of index. So we can just do entries dot value to get our entries array and then square brackets and index to access the entry object at this position. Uh, the data that we want to assign there is available at payload.new. So we just want to add comma and payload.new. And I think that's all we need to do. So let's save that and reload the page. Move this over to the left again. And on Superbase, let's change the name again. We'll just change it back to rent and hit enter. And we can see that was updated in Moneyballs. Uh, let's see if it works if we change the amount. So I'll change the amount to minus 888 and hit enter. And again, we see that updated instantly in Moneyballs. Uh, let's change the paid property from false to true. And again, we see this entry changed to the paid styles instantly. Get the full course, including authentication, role level security and policies, database functions and triggers, storage, edge functions, and running Superbase locally from makeappsacademy.com or click the link in the description.